I recently posted a video to Facebook showing this very hacked up laser cutter I've made using a fibre laser and there's quite a lot of interest about it so I thought I'd post a bit more information about exactly what I did. So this uses an Exphotonics X1 Pro which is a fibre laser that was launched as a Kickstarter campaign. I was recently lucky enough to receive mine and my experiences with it have been very positive. I am very much a hobbyist so um, these are by far the best welds I have ever got, especially with stainless steel and aluminium. And it can do rust removal too. Of course, it can also cut too. But the results I get when doing this by hand are pretty rough because I just can't get the control smooth enough. So I had this idea that I could attach it to an XY gantry. And I just happened to have this old Elex laser, laser cutter that... Um, that I'd bought previously kicking around. It comes with a 2 watt laser. I've made a few modifications to it, but it's basically the same. A few years ago, I bought a CO2 laser that I used for cutting out some of the kits for Esprino, and I've never looked back. So the first step really is to make sure that the X1 Pro can be controlled by the gerbil controller board on the laser. So we're basically connecting here where the old laser was. So we've got three wires. We've got VCC power, and then we've got ground and the pulse width modulated output, which doesn't have enough power to drive the relay directly, so we're using an FET. Then the switch output on the relay goes directly to pins 3 and 4 on the DB25. Pins 5 and 6 are for the e-stop. This is the botch I came up with. There's the connector itself, which is in some heat shrink with a little board in the FET, and that is exactly the same as the laser. That goes through to a relay which could be a lot smaller, but it was the only 12 volt relay I happened to have kicking around. Um, yeah, and then the FET is in there. And then this goes straight to a wire, which is our dry contact going to three and five. Now I've connected two D25 connectors together so that all the pins go through. And this is so that you can put in the existing e-stop while still using pins three and four to control the laser. So then all you need to do is pull out the e-stop plug in this little connector and you can plug the e-stop back in and and now if you hit the red button it will still stop working. The next step is to just connect up where the old diode laser went which is easy enough you can see the relay there and then this is the laser head so it just fits into the existing blue aluminium channel and I've got this cable tie to hold it. I made a 3D printed holder but I haven't got around to trying it yet. And that's it. I'm running it from compressed air, just from a compressor. Um, need to make sure it's dry. But other than that, it does a great job. Um, this is cutting some reasonably thick stainless steel, which is extremely painful to cut manually. But it's going through it really, really easily. And um, if you keep watching, you'll see that it cuts through well enough that the whole thing just drops straight out when it's finished. Normally I post videos on the open source software and hardware that I work on, so this video is a bit of a departure. But um, if you like this, please check those out. Esprino is used on millions of devices, but despite the odd bit of consultancy, the only way I really get paid is when people buy the open source hardware that I sell.